Using a Stream Deck is a game changer for music production. It helps you focus on creating and less time spent on looking for things. The power of using a Stream Deck comes from automation and streamlining your workflow. Inserting a plugin in your Pro Tools session by the press of a button is going to help you save a lot of time and take control of your session. I'm going to focus on the simple task of creating a macro to insert a plugin on a track. Applying this concept to your workflow is going to save you a lot of time. If you don't have a Stream Deck, there's also an app you can use on iPhone or iPad, but I highly recommend getting a Stream Deck. For me, there's nothing like the feel of pressing the buttons. The seamless integration of Keyboard Maestro with the Elgato Stream Deck is the key. Linking Keyboard Maestro and Pro Tools is made super easy by the KM Link plugin that's available for download for free in the Elgato marketplace. So in the Elgato app, you can see, you can easily create some simple shortcuts such as uh, creating a basic transport, soloing, muting, but the real power of the Stream Deck really comes to play when you're using it with Keyboard Maestro. So a couple other examples you could be using it for besides using it for transport would be for loading plugins or presets, creating custom mixing templates, routing setup, color coding your tracks. Basically anything you do a lot and you repeat over and over, there's a way of doing it faster with the macro using Keyboard Maestro and a Stream Deck. Now let me show you how to create a macro to insert a plugin on a track. So for this example, Example, I'm gonna be loading an SSL channel plugin onto my track. So here is the whole macro. So let's go through it so I can explain the steps. So the macro wants to know what insert you want to insert the plugin on. The first step is to create a click and move action. So when you're gonna be using this macro, you're gonna put your cursor on top of the insert and press the button and magically the plugin is gonna show up. So we're gonna set the macro to current location and without dragging. If you don't want to make this whole macro from scratch, I'm gonna have it available for download for free in the description and you'll see it's super easy for you to modify it for whatever plugin you want to load. So now we want to select the correct plugin we want to insert. So to do that we have to use Keyboard Maestro to simulate that we are typing the name of the plugin on the keyboard. You don't need to type the whole name of the plugin, you just have to type enough of the name that there's no double or duplicates in Pro Tools and Pro Tools knows exactly which plugin it is you want to load. So in this example, because we want to load the SSL channel. The only letters we need to type are SSL space and CH. And that's going to be enough for Pro Tools to know that you want to open up the SSL channel plugin. So after using those type of keystroke action to type the name, you want to add another type of keystroke action to press return in order to insert the plugin. And that's really all there is to it. If you want to learn some more advanced macros such as routing and color coding track for your mixing or your production or creating a simple simple macro that's going to bounce all your stems. Please check out some of these other videos I made. Feel free to ask me any questions. I hope this helped you and I'll see you on the next one.